Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Shrek games for the Nintendo Wii. Shrek the Third is a nice adaptation of the movie. The cutscenes are presented as puppet shows and the whole package is fun. The humor is present and the gameplay is pleasant. It's mostly button mashing, but the animations and how enemies fall is funny and never gets boring. You don't play only with Shrek, but as other characters too, each with a unique fighting style, Shrek goes ogre on them, Donkey headbutts and kicks enemies, and Sleeping Beauty slaps enemies, Fiona in ogre form does karate, and you even get sword fights, like playing with Arthur or Puss in Boots. And each character has a superpower you can use for a limited time, just like the awakening mode in other games. As enemies you get plenty of them, pirates, witches, gargoyles, trees, knights and generic bad guys. The boss fights are fun and creative, in rest aside from the combat you have puzzles that are so easy to solve you can't really call them puzzles, and platforming, and you get also levels that look like this. As for graphics and level designs, they are very nice and pretty detailed. And the details are funny, I mean each level has something that will make you smile. So I recommend you Shrek the Third, it, it has a lot of humor, the gameplay is pleasant and the controls are nice too on the Wii modes. Shrek Carnival Craze is a mini game collection, meaning that the game consists of multiple carnival games. It's an okay game, but in some of the games the animations look robotic, and others, I mean other mini games are dull, but overall it's an okay game. It's not bad, but there are better party games out there on the Wii. But it's still a pretty okay game. Shrek Forever After is similar to Shrek the Third, but it's the not so great counterpart of Shrek the Third. In this game you get similar controls, you get to control again the four characters, Shrek, Fiona, Donkey and Puss in Boots. Of course you, you, get, you don't get Fiona or Arthur, just these four characters, just Shrek, Fiona, Donkey and Puss in Boots, which you can switch whenever you want, as you need to use a certain character for a certain puzzle section in some cases. But the game has less humor and more basic stuff like generic puzzles and generic combat, and the camera angles make the game feel even more generic. It's an okay game though, very basic, even if I have to admit, some levels are creative and unique, and some puzzles are too, are, are pretty creative, but as a whole, the game feels very basic and generic. Ok, so this was the video, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe, if you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks, if you want you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord, I've left the links to those in the video description, and if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching!